The primary election is now three days away. The big race for the Democratic nomination for Governor Neil Abercrombie versus Mufi Hanneman. Hanneman will set to appear on our morning news this Friday. And this morning, Neil Abercrombie is here for a live interview. Good morning, and thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, there's been a big problem with those absentee ballots out there, and you've been getting calls into your yes. office? Yes, you, you are entitled to mail in a ballot for any reason at all. Uh, but uh, people have uh, disabled parents, uh, they're going away for the weekend. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the ballot should have been mailed out days ago uh, in order to see that this happened. My understanding is, is that it may come into the thousands of ballots that have just been mailed out this week, possibly as late as yesterday. Uh, in, in tight races, I've been in them myself. Mm -hmm. my, my first race for the House of Representatives was won by 400 votes. Uh, there may be some real serious problems come Saturday if there's close votes and people feel that uh, that uh, their vo their potential voters did not get their absentee in in, uh, in time. Now you've been doing a series of debates uh, against Neil uh, uh, Neil Abercrombie against yeah. Mufi Hanneman, yeah. not yeah. against yourself. Yes, my own worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I've been told that. Yes, we we share something. We have something in common. You've right? been doing a series of debates against <laughs> Mufi Hanneman, and yeah. uh, you did one just yesterday on yeah. the neighbor islands. How strong do you think? your support is on the neighbor islands? Well, when I started my campaign, I said I thought the nomination would be one on the neighbor islands. We, we wanted to build a, a, a grassroots campaign and a net roots, uh, build up our social media campaign on the neighbor islands uh, because we wanted to make sure that uh, they knew we were not going to have a Honolulu-centric or Oahu-centric administration. Even though most of the populations on Oahu, we are uh, the, the Hawaiian Islands, mm -hmm. and we all wanted to be connected, not separated by water, connected by water. But so, do you think your support will really be that strong on the neighbor islands when Billy Kinoy of the Big Island uh, is supporting Neil, uh, supporting Mufi Hanneman? <laughs> and, uh, in, in his dreams. Yeah, and also Bernard <laughs> Carvalho is supporting... Uh, of Kauai is also supporting movie. Well, if there were only two votes, maybe uh, I'd be in trouble. But uh, the plain fact is that people do the voting. Uh, the power doesn't do the voting, or the presumed power doesn't do the voting. So I'm, I'm very, very confident that the grassroots campaign we put together and the net roots campaign we put together since the Obama campaign uh, I think is going to see us through. Now, there have been a lot of interesting campaign commercials on TV, and it uh, <laughs> looks like everybody is putting their wives on television, including yeah. Mufi Hanneman. How mm -hmm. come you aren't putting your wife on TV? She's not the candidate. Any other reason? So she's not the candidate. I'm the candidate. Uh, my wife has uh, her life, uh, her professional life, uh, her... Uh, her interests, and uh, she has spoken at uh, at our campaign rallies. Uh, just the the last one we had on Maui, the other day, she came with me and she spoke. Uh, she said why she thought uh, I'd make a good governor. Thank goodness uh, that uh, we, we we've been married now 29 years, and uh, she simply wanted to uh, make her uh, uh, appearances, if you will, um, that which was connected literally to our campaign. Uh, she does. She feels very strongly that the candidates should represent, represent themselves to the broader public. Let's talk about the environmental impact statement for the rail transit project. How do you think Governor Lingle has been handling this? Because she says that she will not sign it until it is fully studied. Well, she has her rationale. I think it was unfortunate that um, there seemed to be a confrontation and uh, some conflict between uh, Mayor Hanneman uh, and the governor. Uh, it became, I think, pretty personal. Uh, it, that, I think that's always unfortunate when, when that happens. But uh, the merits or demerits of, of the plan still have to be judged by the governor. That's what the law says. Uh, and uh, she's chosen that, that approach, and uh, we need to respect that. Now, it's been very contentious between you and Hanneman. Uh, when you look at his record in terms of the city, do you think he's done any good for the city? Oh, sure, of course. Uh, Mayor Hanneman, uh, as uh, all public officials, my experience has been over the years, everybody tries to do their best. The, the public makes a, ju a judgment on the good judgment or bad judgment of, uh, a as they see it, uh, of, of anybody who's in, in, in public life. And uh, I think that whatever differences uh, I've had with Mayor Hanneman, I hope uh, everyone will conclude have been on the basis of... of uh, what, what we concluded uh, about the issues and, and, and nothing uh, personal in it. I, I think he's given his best, made his best efforts uh, as he saw um, the way forward for, for the city. Now, whether or not people have concluded 
that, that uh, the exercise of that judgment and, and the actions he took as mayor warrant him moving on. We'll find out Saturday night. All right. Neil Abercrombie, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Great I really pleasure. appreciate it. And if you'd like to see this interview again or view any of the segments on our morning news, you can go to KITV.com slash this morning. And tune into KITV 4 News this Saturday to, for complete coverage of the primary election starting at 5.30 p.m. You can also go to our website throughout the night for the latest.